This film is about a young guy who gets magical powers after breaking up with his girlfriend Susie. He has the ability to freeze time at any time. Let's watch what he does to people after having this superpower in today's video. The film begins with a young boy named Ben, who had got dumped by his girlfriend named Susie. She was his first girlfriend. The boy recalled every moment he had spent with his lover. He was confused as to how his breakup happened. On the next scene, it shows that Ben's friend Sean comforts him by saying that his girlfriend was cheating on him, so she ended her relationship with him. He is also advised not to overthink it and to go on a date with another woman, so that Susie will be jealous and will return to him after seeing this. Ben is aware that Sean had a bad relationship with girls. Every woman he meets has been dumped by them. Ben cannot thus take the chance of taking his advice. Ben always wanted to be an artist. In his art class, he always makes paintings of women, and he never stops thinking about Susie. He contacts her one day and invites her to meet up with him once more. Susie, however, declines his offer. He experienced insomnia after hearing this. Despite numerous attempts, he cannot fall asleep. He used to engage in a variety of activities to pass the time, but it still didn't work. One day he went to a grocery market for shopping tea here he sees a vacancy in the grocery store. He immediately decided to work there at night because he was sleepless at night, and it would be the best place for him to spend his time. It all looks fantastic, man. When he goes to the manager for an interview, he notices that the manager was once a football player, but he is now the manager of this shop. After seeing this, he realizes that life will go more quickly in this manner, and he can't do anything about it. Sharon was another staff member who worked with Ben in this office. Ben notices that the manager is acting strangely with that girl in the office, which makes Ben disgusted. Ben expresses to the manager that the time seems to pass more slowly when he works in that shop. In response, the manager says that the employees of this shop do various things to keep themselves busy. Every staff have their own way, like Sharon does not look at time because whenever she checks time, it passes slowly, that's why he hide watch by something. There were also two staff members named Peary and Mint who pass the time by playing games with each other. They do strange things like having a bicycle race in the shop and mix other goods into customers' bags. Get set. Go! <laughs> but Ben was different. He received the magical power to pause time whenever he wishes. So anytime he gets bored, he stops time and walks around the shop. Then he notices every beautiful girl in the shop. He believes that the girls have different kind of power. During his childhood, a gorgeous foreigner girl student lived in his house on rent. Ben used to look at her and be stunned by her beauty. Ben undresses girls and begins painting portraits of them whenever time stops. He once read in a book that girls prefer to have affairs with painters because they enhance their beauty. Ben used to spend time by creating portraits of girls in this manner. When he is finished with his work, he unfreezes time once more. The next day, Sean comes to meet Ben. Ben was not able to overcome the pain of his breakup with his ex, so he says him to forget about her. After hearing this, Ben becomes bored and freezes time to stop him from talking. Ben and Sean have known each other since they were kids. When they were kids, whenever his mother left the house, they often see naked images of girls. When Ben unfreezes him, Sean invites him to a club and suggests him to meet new girls there. After hearing this, Aichi recalls a girl from his school who used to undress herself in front of anyone for money, and his friends were used to make a role in order to see her in Yud. The next day, we observe Ben make eye contact with Sharon. When Sharon gets hungry, he asks Ben for a sandwich. While eating sandwich, the sauce of sandwich remains on her chick. Ben then cleans the sauce from her face in a filmic manner. And thus it was a very romantic scene for him, so he did not want to lose that moment. He wanted to freeze that moment but failed to do so. Then on the next scene it shows that Melt tells Ben that he is going on a date with Sharon today. Ben becomes upset after hearing this. Ben often wonders why a female he likes does not like him back. He used to like his teacher when he was a kid, but he knew that his teacher would never like him back in that way. And there was a classmate girl who Ben used to like at school. But after an accident, she got a plaster on her hand, 
which everyone used to write on. One day the girl then approaches him and asks him to write something on her plaster. When her plaster is removed, her hand grows hairy. As a result of this, her classmates made fun of her. But Ben supports her by saying that she is perfect to him. Then they become boyfriend and girlfriend. One day Ben invites him to meet him at the back side of the school. When she arrives, she asks him if he wants to kiss her. In response, Ben said sure and asked her to meet him here tomorrow because tomorrow is Sunday and no one will bother them. And the next day, Ben waits for her, but she does not arrive. After that he came to know that she got transferred to a new city. Then scene presents to now when Ben and Sean were discussing. Ben then informs Sean about Sharon and also says that Ment and Sharon will be going on movie date today. Sean thinks that they may be hanging out as friends because there appears to be nothing between them. The next day, when Ben came at the shop, he heard Melt telling his friend about Sharon and how they had gotten intimate today. After hearing this, Ben gets upset. His manager then arrives and informs him that he made a bet with a friend to play football with them. So manager invites them to join his football team in order to defeat his friend's team. Sharon was also present for the football game to cheer up Melt. Nobody on that team knows how to play football well. These why they were losing so terribly in that game. After viewing this Ben feels bored, that's why he freezes the time. And when he goes to the cafeteria, he hears some disturbance. Anyone there? There he observes a man escape after unfreezing himself. There he gets to know that he is not the one who can freeze the time. Later that after roaming in cafeteria, he again goes to the match and unfreezes time. During the match, Melt accidentally hit ball on manager's face, for which his nose is wounded. Melt takes him to the hospital and asks Ben to drop Sharon to her home. Then Ben and Sharon goes for coffee and asks her whether she is dating Melt. Sharon tells him that they are only friends and nothing is happening between them. As they got to know one another better, they began to share details about their prior lives. Sharon informs him that she studies Spanish at night and wishes to go to different country. She also mentions that she might visit Spain after mastering the language. She also enjoys South America and would like to visit there. Then she asks him about his dreams, to which Ben replies that he enjoys painting portraits. Ben then drops Sharon to her home. They were then supposed to kiss, but they didn't do it properly. Sharon then asks Ben if he wants to accompany her there. Ben agrees to her request. The manager then contacts Ben to plan a surprise party for him. Ben asks Sean for help because he had no idea how to organize those things. After that, Sean joins him at a bar where they chat with a female about the birthday celebration. The girl then says that because she will be busy that night, she will send her friend in her place. But after that night, Ben started having hallucinations about Sharon in which he saw Sharon everywhere. Every time he stops time, he begins to paint her. Sharon then asks Ben once more whether he wants to attend the party with her. Ben responds yes to that. After that they kissed each other, and after giving her a kiss, he finally fell asleep. After getting out of bed, he gets a call from an art gallery asking to meet Ben. He gets pleased when he hears this, and informs Sharon of his invitation to the art gallery. They both then attend the birthday party. Ben notices Susie there. Sean also called a girl for a surprise party afterwards. They found that she was the student from his school who used to undress herself for cash. Then Sean decided to take a chance and ask her out. Then the love story between them begins. Ben, on the other hand, spots Susie on his way to the restroom. Susie expresses her wish to come back with him after becoming jealous of his relationship with Sharon. But Ben shows no attention towards her and refuses her proposal. The manager is then seen her assing Sharon. Then Sharon leaves that place in anger. While walking, she notices Ben and Susie kissing. Sharon rushes out of there again. Ben realizes Sharon misunderstood him. He then stops time to think about what to say to her. He then stops time for two days. He then talks about it with Sharon. Sharon, however, ignored his advice. Yet again, he experiences nighttime insomnia. Ben then recalls that gallery and visits it with his paintings. When he arrives, he finds that he has no appointment there. It was a fake call from Melt and his friend. 
but the agent is still interested in seeing his paintings. After seeing them, Aichi proposes him to create an art show of those paintings. Ben then goes to Sharon to invite her to his art exhibition. At this point, one of the agents approaches him and expresses her admiration for his paintings and inquires about his future intentions. Then Ben informs that he wants to make portraits while touring in South America. It was actually Sharon's dream to tour South America, so Ben wants to go as well. Sharon, on the other hand, comes there and is taken aback by the portraits, because these were all portraits of Sharon's face, so she forgives Ben. Then Ben asks her to close her eyes. They then begin kissing each other. He then stops time right there. Sharon was then shocked by what she had just seen. Then Ben goes outside with Sharon and it begins to snow. They kiss each other once more and the movie ends here. This was the video guys. Make sure to like, share, subscribe and comment. See you in the next video.